Hello my lovely people, hope you're all fine. So today we are cooking nail patch fish in coconut milk and what we need today is just red onions, that is one medium red onion, ginger and garlic which I'm just compounding, three tomatoes, fenugreek seeds and of course the nail patch fish. Make sure to wash your fish, I'm just from washing mine but of course i'm not going to share with you how i washed it because it's very simple and i'm frying the onions in vegetable oil fry them until they lose the color and then add the ginger and garlic paste or what you're from grounding if you don't have the paste just like me i didn't have it today yep so uh fry until you get that nice aroma from the ginger and the garlic and then add the fenugreek seeds to the pan and then fry for like one minute and then I'm going to be adding the tomatoes to the pan fry everything until the tomatoes are soft and tender and then add the dry ingredients for the dry ingredients I'm going to be using half a teaspoon of coriander powder one teaspoon of fish curry powder half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and then salt to taste just like tilapia nail patch fish is very delicious and tasty given the right ingredients so uh, some of you don't know about this fish but it's common here in my country it's also a fresh water body fish so I've just blended everything together. That is why we have this nice looking smooth paste. Yep, so uh, just place it back on the source of heat and then add the coconut milk to the pan. I'm using one can of coconut milk. You can get it from any supermarket or any grocery store. And if you haven't yet subscribed to My Kitchen by Nana, click the subscribe button. It's just down below in red. Also hit the notification bell to notify you whenever I do upload in case of any comments about this specific video, please leave them down below in the comments section. So I'm giving this a quick mix and then I'm just going to leave it on the source of heat for it to boil. This has been boiling for about 3 minutes so let's add our fish to the pan and let it boil. Yes, yeah, so don't forget that omega 3 that you get from the fish and all the other nutrients that you get from it so you should add it to your menu at least once a week. Check the description box for the ingredients and spices that I've used and for also other fish recipes. It's been 12 minutes since I added the fish to the pan and it is now ready. So get your favorite dish or your favorite plate and let's dig in, you know, nice creamy soup, delicious fish, the aroma from the coconut milk. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, see you next time.